Hi everybody! Welcome Hi. to day. Welcome today. We're going to be building a medieval style cottage that is very similar to this one. Um, Jacob tried to copy the one that I built, and he did a pretty good job. It's but it very, was it wasn't good enough. It so it salty. Just didn't meet her expectations. So salty. But it's very very close actually. Um, so you can get a look at what it's sort kinda of look, going to look like. <laughs> sort of. I feel so bad. It's okay. No, you did really good. Like, he only saw it for like a minute or so, and then he just copied it, and he did a very good job. But it's not exact. It's not what she wanted. Oh, here we go again. Just, just, just go. Just okay. do it. Just okay, do it. so now we're going to start the tutorial. So, woo! Alright guys, so this is a cottage that's supposed to be easy to build in survival mode. Hopefully it will be. Um, let me just... It'll probably take a lot of oak. Go out of my Skype and put it on Do Not Disturb because everyone keeps messaging. I'm really sorry about that. She's just so popular, She's guys. so popular. Alright, so now we're gonna get started. Um, what you'll need are, uh, oak wood logs. Uh, oh. Stone bricks. I don't need sandstone. Where did that come from? That's kind of rude. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I don't need it. I need light gray wool blocks. Uh, stone brick stairs, glass panes. Don't need stone brick slabs. I'll actually be needing oak wood slabs. And um, for a chimney, it's optional because I know how dangerous it is to be on top of a roof in survival, but if you want a chimney, cobblestone wall, you also need some oak wood planks and oak wood stairs. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to start by making the outline, which is, here's where the, oh, here's where the door is going to be. You can see it's a, just a one block door. And then you're going to count out four, so it's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And from there you're going to count ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then over here you can just line it up and find out where this goes. Right there. So this is the outline. And on each of these corners you're going to build up five. Good job, yay! Yay! And then you can build your door frame, which is three. And you can leave it this way if you want, but I prefer it to look like one log is going over like that. And now you can um, fill in all these sides with logs like this. Oh, that's what I missed. And this is optional, but it does make the cottage look a lot better. I call these feet. You can add to each of the logs. Don't judge me. What they basically are is just to make it look like the, the horizontal log in between the two pillars looks like it's extending. Right. Like a log cabin. Now, the ones on top are not optional because they do um, function as um, foundation for the top layer of the house. So you do need the top ones, and it's going to look silly if you don't have the bottom ones, so we'll just say that you need those two. So lots of logs involved with this build. Okay, um, you can also go ahead and just fill in these top walls with the outline of the logs. Oh no, I can see the old city in the background. Don't look at that monstrosity. I can go get rid of that if you want. Yeah, it might lag a little bit, but I think we'll be fine. Especially if we're getting rid of it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's <laughs> so bad. Whatever. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't need to put logs here. I forgot. Logs don't go there. <laughs> Stairs go there. So you just put them like... Oh. 
like plain on the bottom and then you're going to flip them upside down on this part. Kind of gives the face of the cottage a little more depth. It looks a lot better. It's not going to look like that one. It's going to look a little different. Um, stand clear. Oh no. Alright, and now for these little two windows up here, we're going to add some light gray wool to outline the panes. And then you're just going to fill it in with panes, and you can fill in this area with some panes as well. Or you can just put more wool there if you want to. Whatever you want to do with that little spot above the door, you can do whatever. But I like to put the glass panes there, it just gives it a nice look. Over here, you're going to take stone bricks and you're going to fill in your walls. Stand clear. And we're going to make some windows over here. Um, how did I do it last time? Oh, right. Sorry. Oh. Just a little. Is it two by two? Yeah, two by two window. Just something small. I know a lot of people in survival don't like a lot of windows because they don't like people peering in. Uh, but this one will have a lot of windows up top so you can look around at all of your surroundings in case you need to do that. Alright, so two windows on the side. Go ahead and fill those in with the panes. Alright, and then around the back, I don't add any windows in the back. I just think it looks kind of weird. But up top, I believe there will be windows on the back part. But that's so Here, you can I, see. I can, I got this you for got you. This? Thank you, sir. Alright. Now for the upper portion, you're going to want to take your stone bricks and extend on these feet. I think it was four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to do that all the way around. I got you. Alright, and now you can just extend the stone bricks like so on the bottom and the top because then we're going to choose how we want our windows to look and you can choose any way you please. You don't even have to put windows there if you don't want to, but I prefer to have windows all along the uh, top portion of the house. Alright, so for the front what I did is I made two little one block windows so yeah the two by one and then you have this big window in the middle I like the way that it looks and then on the sides I had smaller windows like that and then for the back I did this I just matched the front and the same for this side, I copied the other side because who doesn't like symmetry? Alright. And now you can fill those in with uh, the glass panes. What were you laughing at? You said who doesn't, and then you said like symmetry. So. Who doesn't? Because who does it? Oh. Because who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't? I'll just be decorating my house. You decorate that house. Oh yeah. Okie dokie. We filled all of the top windows in with panes. Alright, now for the roof, you're going to want to take oak wood stairs and we're going to start here not here but here and you're going to extend it one stair out from the on both the front and the back when we get to the back 
So just build this along and then extend it one out. And you'll do this the same way for this side. And I know it's a pain to build with stairs, especially when building a roof, especially in survival, but it's all worth it. It's worth it. Alright. And now what, um, you just keep building it up. I like to build it up um, at least three stairs before I fill it in with the oak planks. Because we don't want to make it too high because again, you're building this in survival probably unless you're in creative mode then it doesn't matter. But if you're building this in survival I know it's kind of scary because you might die. She knows the struggle. I, I do know the struggle. Lots of things go wrong when I build in survival. Okay, now that we have that finished, you're going to fill this area in with your oak wood planks. And I'll probably like speed through that or like cut it out because it's going to be boring to watch. Don't fray. Jacob will save the day. Here. I've um, got world edit. Right. But see, we don't like to be cheaters. Yeah, but not for a video. That's true. Oh, wow. Just like magic, it's all there. <laughs> Alright, so for this part, I just like to fill it all in with a uh, light gray wool. The front and the back. Awesome. Alright, now let's take those oak wood slabs. And we're going to cover this part up because it just looks odd not being covered up. And you're going to also extend that one out just like we did with the stairs. And now we're going to take the stairs again and we're going to line this part. She'll extend it one out. And you can break off these slabs if you really want to, because it does look a little odd. And there's the roof. And it's also optional if you want to add a chimney, you can. side. And on the inside, as for the floors, Jacob, I could use your handy dandy. My handy dandy amazing skills. Mm -hmm. 
we're going to, you can use any type of material that you want to. Well, we are going to fill it in with planks and we'll be right back. Okay, we did it. Now we are back. Um, and then for the top floor, it's just going to be the same. It's going to be, yep. Yeah, I'm going to fill it in really quick for all y'all watching this. Yep. And just like that, oh, I wow. filled it in. I'm really fast, aren't I? Yeah. So you can break it wherever you want a ladder. Mm -hmm. And you can also add in a fireplace if you want to. I will do a video on how you can decorate the inside. But I'll do that separately just so this video won't be as long. Um, let's see what, um, also, this is completely optional. You can add some shutters to the windows but I like the way it looks with them, so I'm going to add them. Like I said, that part is completely optional. You don't have to, um, add that if you don't want to. I just prefer this way. It just looks a little more decorated to me. So this is the outside and then this is the inside. It's really cozy. You could probably comfortably fit two people in here. Maybe even three. You could definitely comfortably fit one person in oh, there, yes, too. Oh, yes, definitely. Very comfortable for one person. So that's it for this tutorial on our survival medieval cottage. I hope you enjoyed. This is the first of our building tutorial series. Hopefully, hopefully it, it will get better from here on out. Yeah, hopefully it will. Do Thanks for watching. Subscribe and stay tuned for more. I've said it better myself.